Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, today we have another cruise line making some changes to the pre-cruise testing for a select number of sailing. So Holland America is removing the pre-cruise testing requirement on the Rotterdam for July 10th, July 17th, and July 24th. Now it's just going to be on the Rotterdam and for now it is just for these particular sailings which are sailing from Amsterdam. Now passengers booked on those cruises should have already received the email letting them know that there will be no pre-cruise testing requirement, no need to show up at the cruise line with a negative COVID test, won't have any type of requirement to embark on the ship as far as testing goes. All the vaccination rules are still in place. This is only for testing. And we saw these changes recently where P&O Cruises on the Iona was doing it for a select number of sailings as well. And even though this is happening in Europe, it's not here in the United States, it's not making any changes for us here in the US, I still honestly believe this is going to be a benefit to us later on down the road. You know, with the Carnival Corporation testing it on P&O and the Carnival Corporation testing it on Holland America, they are able to gather data to show, you know, that, hey, look, we've done these sailings without pre-cruise testing. There have been no issues. There have been no problems. And then they can take that data and present it to the CDC as hard facts. You know, it's easy for the cruise lines to go to the CDC or anybody to go to the CDC and just say, we should stop pre-cruise testing. But it's a whole lot better if they go to the CDC and have the data, the facts, you know, something to physically show to say, look, if we stop pre-cruise testing, well, here's some data to show that it's okay. Here's some data to show that it'll work. Here's some data to show that, you know, nothing negative happened because we did this. You know, and as countries in Europe continue to drop their pre-testing requirements, you know, for entry into the country, which is moving across into some of the cruise lines, that's, that is where the opportunity is right now to test this. This is where the opportunity is to see if this is something that's to work, that can work and, you know, to gather the data that we need here in the United States to be able to present it. The CDC says they are going to reevaluate and they are taking a look at the pre-cruise testing requirement here in the United States. And this is just a way for the cruise lines to get the data and show, hey, look, this is how it's going to turn out. So yeah, while it's not affecting our sailings here, and it's not gonna make an immediate change for those of us cruising here in the United States, this is a step forward. This is the, you know, the testing phase, the getting the information phase, the stuff we need to present here to order to, in order to get a change made here. You know, because the CDC, they, they're, they're still convinced that, you know, cruising is different than any other form of travel. In close quarters, on board a ship for days at a time to the CDC still poses a greater risk than, you know, theme parks, baseball games, air travel, all of that, right or wrong, believe it or don't believe it, this is what the CDC still believes. So yeah, I really understand why the cruise lines would want to have some data to show to them, to prove to them, hey, look, you guys are probably wrong. This is why we say you guys are wrong. And we should look, really look, at making the change here in the United States. Because we all know the pre-cruise testing, it's a, it's a pain in the rear end. You know, it's an extra step you got to go through, you know, for the number of people in your travel party, you're a family of four or five or six, getting ready to go on a cruise and you got to get all these tests done, get all these results back, you know, within two to three days, depending on your vaccination status prior to sailing, it can be a little nerve wracking, getting an appointment, getting in, ordering a home test and paying for it, whatever the case may be, it can put some additional stress on a family right before vacation. So I understand the desire for people to not have to pre-cruise test. And like I've been saying in several videos here over the last few weeks, I think pre-cruise testing is going to be one of the very first things that goes here in the United States as far as our current health and safety protocols on board the cruise ships. And while I don't expect that to be tomorrow, I do still think there is a possibility, only a possibility, that we could begin to see 
some kind of pre-cruise testing changes within this year, but that honestly is just a guess at this point in time. And of course, we'll have to wait and see what actually happens, what data comes out of these cruise lines, what information are they able to learn and share with the CDC after conducting these tests. Now for the Rotterdam, it said it's only for these three sailings currently in July, but we could see that extended out even further into August and September if they are successful and they don't have any problems here in July. We'll take a wait and see if we hear anything new, any changes to this, of course, we'll let everybody know. And that's going to be your cruise news for today. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you have, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button for us. If you haven't done so, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. And of course, we'll let you know anytime we put a new video out. That way you can stay up to date with cruise news, cruise information, cruise vlogs, and everything that we do cruising. Hope everyone has a really great day. Hope everyone is having a really great 4th of July weekend. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas in 87 more days.